Hey, good morning. I'm horticulturist Gary Bachman. It's time for another daily dose of hort. Well, here at the Urban Nano Farm, we've been uh, kind of upgrading our rose selection here over the, over the last couple of years. In fact, yesterday, we just transplanted these four roses here in, into 15 gallon pots. We've got Heaven on Earth, um, what, what's this one, Dick Clark, and I got to read the, read the, the um, pots first edition, and then this is Hot Cocoa. And the only reason I know that is because Kate has put the, the names on the pots. If you want to just go, just go ahead and kind of show everybody what, you, what, you're, what you're doing. And that this has been a great project that Kate has done with all of our big pots and identifying all the, all the different um, plants that we're, that we're putting in these pots. Uh, it's it's kind of interesting, the, um, the roses that we have had in the past, the, our, our original set, if you want, we've got Gertrude Jekyll here. And, you know, this is loaded. This has really come on in probably in about the last two weeks of, of just just gorgeous blooms and there's a ton of them on this plant and and at some point we're going to have to get into into some pruning which which is what which is what we're going to do here this morning you know sentimental is looking good um the one that the one that we're going to prune here is um pink enchantment and the last rose that we've got that we've we've shown this in the past on on daily doses but this is the Four Roses Bourbon 130th Anniversary Rose, which we got from our friend Shauna Coronado and the Badish Group. All the other roses we've got here are all from K&M Roses here in Mississippi, in Buckatunna. Mr. Mr. Mills does a fantastic job with these, um, with these roses. But I was out yesterday working in the yard and I was taking a look at these roses. And like Pink Enchantment here, it, it, it needs some pruning. And the first thing that we're gonna do is come in here, and we've shown this in the past also, but all the K&M roses are all grafted, and you can see here's the graft union here, but they're grafted on Fortuniana rose rootstock. And you can see this rootstock is starting to grow. And how do I know it's the rootstock? Well, compare the, <laughs> Compare the foliage of, of the rootstock and the and the rose itself, and you can see the differences in them. That's a real sure way to know that that the rootstock is growing. And all I'm going to do with that is, I mean, these things just pop out. So it, it's real easy. I'm going to take my bypass pruners, and I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to pop that off right there. And there, e easy, easy, way, easy way to do that. I'll throw that there. Another thing I wanted to do with this, with this rose, it's kind of getting a little lopsided and some of the canes are, are, get, are, getting, to, are getting too long. And so what I want to do is th this first cane that's, that's really popping out here, even th though there's some buds on here, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this one off and just to try to, um, try to, try to even, the, even the plant out a little bit. Remember, when we're pruning, you know, I have been known to be impulsive with pruning, but I want to go ahead here and look at a point on this rose. And I'm, I think I'm going to go back, all the way back down into this area. Here we've got a, I know it's, it's hard to see, but it's a, it's a five-leaf branch. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to prune it right there. And it just so happens that the way this branch is pointing, this bud is pointing, that when this cane goes back down, when that bud releases, it's going to grow out away from the center of the plant. And so I'm just going to come in here, not cut right on top of it. I know, I know it's, hard, it's hard to get the camera in there. Here, watch it, Kate. This might snap at you. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it, cut it like that and put it back down. Now that cane will grow and at this at this bud right here. Hey, right right there by my finger. That that bud will release. You got that okay? No. Okay, back off from it a little bit. 
and I don't exactly see what you're But end of my finger. It's it's okay. We don't we don't need to argue on camera here, even though it might get us, you know, some more some more hits and things. But we're gonna do that. And then I want to come over and take take this one, this branch off, and it's this the same the same way. And I'm just gonna come in here and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna prune it right there. And the bud the bud will release there. And I'm going to do this. And look at this. Here's a pretty rose for Katie. Here, go ahead and take that. You're welcome. Oh. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm stuck on it too. <laughs> but but pre pretty rose, pink enchantment. Um, anyways, pruning of roses is pre is pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead. There's there's some hips that I'm going to you know spent flowers. I'm going to take out here. But doing that cleans the plant up, makes it makes it look better. And, and it's healthy for the rose too to prune it off from time to time. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time for another daily dose of hort.